So you want to hit snowboard jumps, whether they're small or they're largest, you want to fly through the air, you want to be a bird, but you're just so freaking scared. You have so much fear of these jumps and you don't know what to do because you want to do it so bad, but every time you roll up to them, you're like, no way, I'm not doing that, I'm scared. Well, in this video, I am going to help you guys overcome the fear of hitting jumps and let you just have a bunch of fun. So the first thing I want to let you guys know is you will always be afraid of hitting jumps. It's just a thing, it's a reality. But what we're gonna do in this video is we're actually gonna get comfortable with the fear of hitting jumps because you should always respect them and that fear should be respect but like to have this irrational thought in your head that you'll just eventually never be scared of jumps there will always be a jump that you will be afraid of it's always that next hill that next hurdle the next thing you got to get over so get it out of your mind you're gonna always be afraid of jumps or a jump but we can get very comfortable with jumps and we can start hitting all sizes of jumps and have enough ability to show up to a pretty large jump be like no one's here to show me the speed I'm just gonna hit this thing. So that's where we're really getting to. Now, when it comes to hitting jumps, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta be in the proper body position, a stacked position, shoulders over knees, over toes. We do not wanna be hitting jumps afraid because if we are, that means we are probably leaning back. And if we're leaning back as we go off this jump, the worst case scenario is gonna happen. Your legs are gonna shoot above your head and you're gonna lay on your back and it hurts so bad. You need to be stacked, bend in those knees, a nice bend in those knees. Sometimes when I'm gonna hit a jump and I'm scared of it, especially if I'm doing a switch trick, I kind of squat a little bit as I I'm approaching this jump. Bend in the knees, confidence. We're in a stacked position. This like attack position, keep your hands kind of here. That's gonna be the good body position to be in any size jump. Let's see if we're not bend over at the waist. We're not here approaching a jump. This is a bad body position. We're not leaning back and we definitely don't have our lead shoulder completely open. We're not going off the jump like this because if our lead shoulder is completely open as we go off this jump, it's gonna turn our body. Like if I, I'm standing right here and I jump, boom. But if I open my shoulder like this and I jump, my hips turn, so close that lead shoulder. So now that we know we're gonna be able to keep the board underneath our feet as we fly through the air, how do we know we're gonna go the right distance? We're not gonna go too far, we're not gonna go too short. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch other people that have already been hitting the jump. So if that means you gotta just sit at a jump and watch 30 people go, do that. See how many turns they're taking in the jump. If you see someone go way too short and knuckle, which means not going over to the landing of the jump, why did they do that? Oh, well, they took six turns going into the jump and the guy that keeps making the jump is only taking in one turn or two turns follow the guy's movements that are doing that you could also find someone that looks like me and just be like hey can i follow you into the jump and when you follow someone in the jump all you're trying to do is just keep this a set distance behind them you know if they start going way further and you can start trailing behind you're going too slow if you start gaining on them you're going too fast and so it's just kind of like keep a set distance from each other and hit the jumps boom Boom. And you can learn that way. Speed is the thing that makes hitting jumps hard because if you don't get the speed right, once again, you're landing short or you're going too big. And that's where a lot of people get the fear because landing short sucks. Hitting a knuckle, landing flat, none of that feels good. But if you're starting on the proper jumps, you can learn like, hey, that doesn't feel good. And I know how to dial in the speed now because I'm from watching people. You can now start eliminating those knuckles or you knuckle and you go, okay, that wasn't the speed. I need to start going faster now. And I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, Jonathan, you still haven't talked about fear yet you're just telling me how to hit this jump and i'm like okay hold on you need to buy an evolution sticker first i'm not gonna just give you that information for free come on that's obviously a joke but those are linked in the description if you want to snag one of those and the reason why we haven't fully dove into the fear thing yet is because you got to get confidence confidence is how you're going to eliminate the fear and you get that confidence by knowing my feet are going to be underneath me i am going the right speed for this jump i have those two pieces of confidence that i know that i can now fly through this air but there's one more piece we got to get because every time I go in the air, I'm waving the windows down, I'm freaking out in the air. So ways to eliminate the freak out, the waving, all that craziness. Shifty is a nice one. That's where you kind of go up in the air and you kind of counter rotate and kick your front back leg forward. It's like a beep, it's a fun little one to do in the air. An indie grab where you just go up in the air, you retract your knees and you do a grab. When you retract your knees, you're going to probably end up popping a little more off the jump, which is nice. It's just going to give you more air time, more amplitude. It's going to help you go further past that knuckle and land in the sweet spot. But doing something off the jump is definitely going to help you stop waving your ears and freaking out in the air as well. The other thing you want to do is when you go up into the air, you want to be looking for your landing. You go up, you go, okay. I made it, I got the speed right. Or you're gonna go up and go, oh, I didn't go fast enough, I'm laying on this knuckle. And you can prepare to absorb it. But once you know that I need to be looking where I'm going when you're going off the jump, that also gives you more confidence. So now that we know the board's underneath us, we have the right speed, I'm gonna do this indie grab in the air. And as I take off, I see, got it, nailed the speed. We have the confidence to complete the trick, to hit the jump. And once again, the confidence is how you eliminate fear because the more you hit that jump, say you hit it for the first time, oh, I was a little nervous. Can I hit the second jump? Yeah, I got confidence. At the end of the day, you've hit the jump 12 times. You're like, dude, I got this jump. This jump's so fun, I'm killing it. Because you now have the confidence 
and no more fear. So then the moment you're like, I'm gonna do a 360 on this jump, you're now scared of it all over again and the fear is back because it never goes away. You gotta respect the fear, respect the jumps, but at the end of the day, having confidence in yourself and what you're doing is gonna help you be able to hit these large, big jumps. And you gotta do it afraid. That's the other last little gem. Like there's a moment with action sports and that's why they're action sports is you gotta do stuff and you gotta be scared to do it. So those are my tips for handling fear and hitting jumps. I hope they helped you guys. I hope you guys can crush the jumps that you wanna go out there and hit. If you got other tips for overcoming fear, please fill them in the comments. Let's help people get better and radder at snowboarding because that's the whole point of this channel. So subscribe if you're new. And as always, thanks for shredding with me today. Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video because it's daily on this channel and we do stuff like this daily.